Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. So uh, this is a, a short video that is not sponsored and I just want to emphasize that it is not sponsored in any way. It's more a reply video to a bunch of comments I got from you guys related to using references. So if you're using uh, model references, let's say in Maya or ZBrush or whatnot, uh, you're kind of, you know, playing around with Photoshop and doing all sorts of weird stuff to get your images in place. So you have good reference material, right? Now, I wanted to do this video to share my personal preferred reference app, which is uh, free, which is cool. Uh, although they do ask for a donation, and I think that's more than fair. And it's called Pure Ref. Now, um, you just go to pureref.com and uh, you just click on Get Pure Ref. Of course, I already downloaded it, but you know. So you choose your platform, Windows, Mac, Linux. You choose whether it's 64-bit or 32-bit. I assume there's still people out there that use 32-bit. Then you select a donation amount. Uh, like I said, I think that's more than fair. And then, yeah, you download it, right? You pay with PayPal or whatever. And um, yeah, then you install it and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so um, this is it. Uh, you right click on this guy so you can move it around, right? And uh, it's basically just an empty box and you can just drag photos in there and I'll show you how that works, right? Okay, so let's say we want to model, I don't know, um, Woody from Toy Story, right? So we'll just uh, type in Woody Toy Story, and there you go. And then we're gonna go to images, and here are a whole bunch that we can use, right? So you just grab it and drop it. Just throw it in there, right? There you go. And then you take another one, let's say, I don't know, we'll take uh, this guy right here. We'll throw it in as well. We'll take this guy, throw it in, you get the idea, yeah? You can use this for references. You can use it for mood boards. You can uh, scale this up, just hover over the edge there. You can make it nice and big, and there you go. Like I said, if you wanna move the box around, you just right click and move it. You can uh, double click on this guy to make it bigger. You can uh, mouse wheel in and out. And uh, yeah, you can resize the individual images if you like, pretty cool. And um, looks like I downloaded a bit too much. But you can drag in files from your own computer. You can do it with Google and, and whatever, yeah? Now, uh, let's say you want these to be organized. You just left mouse click and drag. So I got all these. I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to, uh, let's see, or is it? There's a images. Uh, arrange and let's do optimal bam yeah let's say I want to name this so I got one on the left here that's called scooby-doo right this one I want to name it so let's go in here I um, I'm gonna hit control N yeah we'll call this uh, woody toy story there you go I'll just uh, put that up here and let's say I want to use that for modeling in, I don't know, um, ZBrush, okay? Hey you. Yeah, you. Do you like this video? There is a button. It's a very sexy button. It says subscribe on it. I wish I could click on it, but YouTube won't let me. Damn. Okay, so we're in ZBrush right now. Uh, how would that work? I'll just uh, drag it in from my other screen. I can then go in and make that window way smaller if I want. I can move it in here, and then I can go in here and uh, use my middle mouse button to get to where I want to be. Double click on this guy, for example, yeah, and then move it to wherever I want. I can zoom in. Let's say I want to have a certain detail to work on, right? You can do all that and uh, yeah, it's really, really neat and really, really easy, okay? You can even set it up in a way that your mouse is kind of clicking through this image. So you could go in here, go into settings 
and then you have all these options here. You can change your colors. You can say that you want to have it checked on startup. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? So yeah, if you're looking for a good reference program, then definitely check out this Pure Ref. And like I said in the beginning, this is not sponsored. Every once in a while, you run into uh, an app or a product that's just simply uh, awesome. And I like to support the guys that are making it, right? So there you go. Put a link below, check it out. Let me know if you like it. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.